Hey there, I wanted to give you some information on the test coming up for you later this week over the Enlightenment figures. Um, got your test here right in front of me. Things you need to know for this test. Um, the first question, so number one all the way up through, it looks like number nine. Um, they're going to be short answers. You just need to tell me exactly what's going on. Like, who, what is the title of your article? Um, who's involved in your article? When did it happen? What's going on? Um, where is this happening at and why? So kind of the basics of understanding the article. Um, you also need to be able to explain to me um, some of the different philosophers and their basic thoughts right through here. Let's look at Mary Wollenstonecraft. Okay, the woman um, talked about equal rights for women. Be able to tell me where in your article you can see equal rights for women. Talk about Voltaire and his belief in freedom of speech. Where in your article do we see Voltaire um, in his belief for freedom of speech? Uh, Montesquieu and the three branches of government. Okay, tell me where do you see Montesquieu and his idea of three branches of government? Um, is that being supported in this document? Yes or no? And be able to tell me why. Um, talk about natural rights. Okay, these come from John Locke, the right to life, liberty, and property. Uh, tell me, are those present in this article? Yes or no? And if so, where are they located in that article? And then talk about the social contract theory as well. Um, you should be able to understand the social contract theory. We've talked about the whole packet in class. Uh, spend about a week working on that so, that. so make sure you understand what is the social contract theory and whether or not you believe it's being upheld and then why. Um, additionally, you need to be able to summarize the entire article in the text of the article, making sure that I actually understand that you know what you're talking about in this article. I'll be able to look at the article um, and tell me if this supports Hobbes' belief of state of nature, why or why not. Um, tell me if it supports Locke's belief in the state of nature, why and why not. And then Rousseau's belief of the state of nature, why or why not. Okay, it could be yes to all of those depending on how you're going to back it up. Um, this test is not going to be a yes or no kind of test. It's going to be based off of what you say and how well you go about and defend your position. Um, additionally, it's going to be important, okay, tell me um, Machiavelli, okay, what does Machiavelli believe? Remember, he's that one who believes this, you should do whatever you need to be in charge and keep power. Um, explain to me why or why not that is the case. Uh, also, be able to explain the difference in the social contract theory between Hobbes, Locke, and Rousseau. Um, be able to explain that, okay, make sure you understand what's going on. Look back at your notes, get hold of me with any questions that you might have over that. Um, other than that, that is going to be your test, okay? It's going to be broken down. Um, use these next couple of days to ask any questions you might have. Make sure you fully understand everything that you need to understand for this test, and you should be good to go. Uh, comment down below with any questions you might have. Otherwise, send me an email. Good luck.